Tonight, a viral video has police explaining why they didn't stop a dog from tearing up a woman's car. Good evening. I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Calvin Sneed. Folks, take a look at this. This video shows the dog trying to rip off the front bumper of her car. The woman who took the video says she tried to get the officers to stop the dog, but they refused. Tonight, Kayla Strayer shows us why police say their inaction was a matter of safety. Dalton police say they handled the situation as best as they could and to make sure that everyone was kept safe. The car owner, though, says she doesn't think that's the case. And we look outside and there's like a dog just going crazy on my car. Jessica DeLalo doesn't want to show her face on camera, saying she has been getting death threats since she posted this video on Facebook earlier this month. I'm like the most hated person right now because I said I wanted to shoot that dog, but um, I still stand by that. Jessica says she wanted police to shoot or use a stun device on the dog because she was scared it would hurt someone or another animal. We weren't sure if it was rabid, but it was foaming at the mouth. There was blood everywhere. You can see the dog ripping the bumper apart, trying to get to two cats under the hood. The bumper was not off 10 minutes ago. You can't throw a rock at him. You can't do anything. Dalton police officer Matthew Locke stands by his decision not to shoot or use a stun device because the dog was not aggressive toward people, only property. Run the dog off, pepper spray it, or tase it. You know, it might turn on us and then we'd be forced to kill it because it would be attacking one of us. Instead, police say they waited about 15 to 30 minutes for another officer to show up with a catch pole to safely capture the dog. My whole goal was to try to keep it contained, catch it, and identify the owner. And ultimately, that's what we did. This is the dog today, back on its owner's property, kept outside in a fence a few streets over from the car incident. That's a problem. Why didn't you do anything to protect the rest of the neighborhood? This dog is back at the owner's house. What if he gets out again? The dog was taken to the animal shelter. The owner issued a warning, and he is responsible for covering the cost of the damage to the car. Reporting in Dalton, Kayla Strayer, News Channel 9. And Dalton police say they called animal control officers, but were told it would be about two hours before they got there. That's when the police took matters into their own hands and used the catch pole themselves to take control.